So I thought I'd make a short video just showing where I am on this tower clock. Um, as you can see, I've got the escape wheel um, mounted. I've got that cut and the escapement. And what I thought is I was, it's not uh, tuned in yet, but what I thought I would show is uh, something interesting on this escapement that I've done uh, once before in the regulator. So if you notice up top, uh, what looks different is how this is mounting. And you're wondering why is this ring here? One thing with these wheels, is these are very fine teeth and you're gonna have a heavy pendulum on this so if these come in and that pendulum swings and you can damage these uh, these fine teeth very easily and to stop that what I've learned to do is I've mounted two small magnets up here and if this ever comes in and hits that wheel hard and wants to, to do some damage if you see there it'll release and it'll come off now of course this is just loose on the arbor but these, these are quick release, so if this switches, you'll see these magnets just like almost a binding. There's no hysteresis, no anything. So if it comes up and it wants to come in there, so you set. So if you want to simulate, it's going to swing and the pendulum's going to come through and it's going to just pop off without doing any damage to the teeth. When that is mounted on the arbor. The, the other nice thing is this also self-centers. So it'll come back and it always finds its center exactly where it wants to be. And it's got plenty of force uh, with very two small magnets uh, in the end of that um, to give the power it needs uh, to the pendulum to keep this clock running well. So I thought that's interesting. I've got to harden these pallets. Um, I'm waiting for a cutter for my wheels. It's a number one modulus cutter and it looks like it's not gonna come in in time. So I'm probably gonna to have to figure out how to make one of those to cut all the wheels. They all use the same modulus. And the other thing that's interesting is you can see the switch mounted on the back. So when this is turning around once every minute, it's gonna signal that switch to turn on and off. And that's gonna give a signal to the clock that's mounted at the top of the tower um, to advance one minute. So a lot of work to do. Uh, you can see I'm making some progress um, and I hope to uh, be back soon, uh, maybe cutting some wheels. So take care and thought just do a quick update. Hope you're enjoying this build.